So let's say I have a problem or something I'm looking to develop a solution for at work and I know what software I think I want to use and I know what my problem is but I don't necessarily know how to tackle it using that software. What we can do is describe the problem and the software we want to use to chat GPT and see if it will give us an output. And so what I have here is a, I say, hey, I, I want to use Excel to figure out which one of my team members will be in the office during the holidays because people are taking a lot of time off. So I want to know who's going to be in and then who's going to be out on what day. And I want to use Excel. So how do I do that? And so we're going to push that problem to chat and it's going to say, hey, it looks like you want to create a schedule in Excel. And you know, then it's going to break out some steps for how we can do that. And it's nice because it says, hey, here's one way you could approach this problem. So it gives us step-by-step -step guide, tells us you know how to lay out the sheet in you know cell by cell, row by row by row by column, um, you know, and, and very specifically says, hey, we're going to want to put in some leave dates. We're going to want to put in some team members, and then you know, we're gonna to wanna to progress through the whole thing, right? So what we can do is we can get more prescriptive. So I could say like, hey, I wanna see a, uh, a line chart that shows me uh, the number of people that will be on in the office on any given day. Uh, so I know how much coffee to make, right? Like, let's say that that's the use case. So we'll say, can you, and once this is done, we can kind of preload our text in here to see what um, it, it's gonna do. Oh, but actually, before we do that, it said for us to do uh, VLOOKUP. So actually, VLOOKUP is like one of the more like intermediate challenging functions in Excel. And uh, I always have to look up the documentation to do it, but I actually just ask, uh, hey, for number six, how do we do that VLOOKUP? And so it's just gonna, I'm gonna say, hey, can you just clarify on number six because you were just a little bit too broad. So here, it's gonna go through and let's see what it, what it gives us. We'll give it our exact use case uh, when we when we line this up. Let's give it as much detail as possible, and you know try to format in a, an intelligent way. But there's no specific format that you have to give this information to Chat GPT in order for it to be effective. But see here, it just said, "Here's your VLOOKUP. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put the leave dates in their own workbook, and then you know here's the formula you're gonna want to use." So it spits that out, it goes really in depth on just that number six of the, our original uh, guide here, like this step right here. It broke out number six into a, an extensive guide just for number six. So like I'm saying, you know, you don't have to rely on just a broad scope overview of, hey, solve this problem for me in Excel, and then you just have to figure everything else out for yourself. No, like you can come back and you can ask specific questions and say, hey, on this specific step, I'm having this problem. How would I fix that? Let's ask it about the line chart and see what it says now. So we'll say, hey, we want a line chart on this other page. You know, what do we want to do? Great, it's gonna say, hey, from the insert tab, let's select line from the charts tab. Um, let's insert that, and then let's see here. It is a little bit vague on number five, so it'd be like, can you expand on number five in the charts explanation? And then let's see. Yeah, so now it's gonna go straight into the actual buttonology of the charts inside, uh, uh, this specific chart in Excel. So it's gonna tell you like all of the axes and like what you should call every axis and what you should do for the colors. 
It's pretty robust. So anyhow, this is just one example of how you could solve a problem using ChatGPT, you know, and you know, create a solution or do anything like that with it.